Okay, we're going to cover the new Herco 3D import feature on the WinMax control, which will allow us to open a 3D step file or a solid step file directly on the control and program from it conversationally. We're going to program both three axis and five sided uh, using this feature on the conversational control. So in our graphics screen, with this feature loaded on the control, we have two new windows that we need to open. Here at the very bottom, we're going to hit the arrow to open up that pane, and then on the left side, we're going to click this arrow to open up this pane for selecting geometry and so forth. We're going to go here to the Import button. We're going to import the step file directly into the control, and it's going to open on the graphic screen. You notice that the top center of this particular part is our zero point, and that's denoted by the Cartesian coordinate system there. I'm going to do some three axis programming on the top. I want to do this little pocket in the very top center. Then I'm going to do the rest of the, the surface on the top and leave that island standing. Then we're going to do some five sided programming by doing this pocket with the triangle island on the right side and then the pocket here on the front. So the way we do that is we're going to select the select pick tool. I'm going to highlight the bottom of the feature that I want to cut. I'm going to turn that into a contour. Click on the top of the feature for the Z start. Well, that'd be the very top of the part. I'm going to accept that. It's now showing the direction of cut. It wants me to verify that that is correct. If it wasn't, I would simply reverse it. But that's going in the counterclockwise direction, which I want. So I'll approve that tells me that the program block was inserted at the end of the program. So if I hit OK, go to Review, and look, I now have a mill contour with the pocket boundary. I just simply give it the tool number, Tool 1, and that block is ready to run. So we'll verify it. Now I'm going to do this the rest of the top surface. So I'm going to select Pick Tool, select that. It's going to be a contour. There's the Z start. The direction is cool. I go to the block, give it a tool number. You can see that it created a mill, con mill contour pocket boundary with the associated island. I give it tool one again. Verify. So now we have both of those features programmed. Now I want to do work on the right side of the part. I simply select pick, highlight the feature, make it a contour, and it brings up this Cartesian coordinate. It wants me to, to click on the direction of the z-axis. If I click this, it will continue to toggle around. And I just want to click until I get the z-axis pointing, z-axis positive pointing in the direction that I want it. This blue is the z. That's the way that I want it oriented. I simply accept it. I click the top for the Z start, accept it. I accept the direction, and it inserts a block in the program. If we look at that block now, not only do we have the pocket contour boundary and associated island that's needed, but it also created the transform plane to orient the tool. We just give it the tool number. And we go verify the program. So now we'll have the three axis stuff on top done as well as the first of the five sided blocks completed. Now let's go ahead and program the front side. Select pick, select the bottom of that contour, uh, make it a contour. We're going to accept that orientation. There's our Z start. Direction is OK. Boom. Now we have another transform plane, the pocket boundary needed, and the transform plane end to complete this side of the part. So we go in, give it a tool number, and verify in graphics, and we should have all three sides of this part complete. There you have it. The Herco Solid Model 3D Import.